Woo! Story time, man. Anyway, story time popping off, man. I want to tell you the story about, like, the fight that started my YouTube channel. Like, I mean, my YouTube channel, I started in ninth grade, and all I did was record fights. Now, I didn't get into my first fight in high school, like, I'm saying, I, one day, this is the fight that really, like, okay, now, when I say this fight started my YouTube channel, like, it got, it didn't start my YouTube channel, like, as in, like, you know, I recorded it, and it was my first big hit fight on YouTube, but it's a fact, like, after I got into this fight, you know, motherfuckers saw me in a different way, and motherfuckers knew, like, okay, he, he was about his little fight and shit, you know, I need to see, see the little fights on my channel, so they already knew what I was about. So, after this fight, that's what really took my channel to the next level, because I was in school and everybody was like, oh, that's Davion, he knocked that dude out. We, we, we got the other bitch fight from H3 class, I got the other, you got the bitch fighting in our class, so I had hella, hella them up for this fight and shit, it took me off. So now, one day, um, it was this new kid, right, and he was hanging out with some, with the Mexicans or whatever, you know what I'm saying, and, and Stag, I used to go to Stag High School, so, you know, sometimes, back in the day, it was politics, you know, you had the jocks and, 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 and the Mexicans, and then you had the other little kids that just said, like, the sports players, and, you know, all that shit, the gothics and nerds and shit, so, the digger, he hanging out with the Mexicans, the Mexican Norte, but he a tall white nigga, he a tall white nigga, like, my tall partner that was here on the get lit, in the sort of way. So, you see the nigga, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? And I guess it was some rumors going around the school that he had called one of my Savage Squad niggas a bitch. So, I mean, I wasn't going to press the nigga because at the end of the day, we all grown as men, we all not going to be fighting each other battles, you feel me? Especially if everybody in the group can fight individually. He was walking with the Mexicans again, you know, at lunch. You know, this high school, so niggas petty, you feel me? Now, we was in art class and we was playing with Clay today. Not today, but the day of the fight. You feel me? We was playing with Clay. But look, so, niggas, she let us sneak the Clay out, so that when the white dude was walking past with the Mexicans, we start throwing the Clay at him. Nigga, bop, boom, in the head, bop, nigga, I'm talking about the nigga must have galloped, like, boop. Like, the nigga, tongue came out, nigga, because that's how hard we was hitting him. He was hitting them niggas, throwing them shits. I wasn't throwing them shits, but my partners was. You know what I'm saying? I was eating my lunch, you know, little chicken sandwich that come in the wrap. You know what I'm saying? This back then when 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 nigga Stag had the hometown buffet motherfucking uh a uh, little little uh uh food tray where you can you know, go scoop whatever you want, you know what I'm saying? You got the old ladies, Chinese ladies making you burritos, panera. So we you know what I'm saying. Yeah, my blood went out. God damn. But anyway, feel me? We go to we up. Oh, we ain't go nowhere. We outside. I'm eating my lunch. Hitting that nigga with the motherfucking balls and shit. Boom, boom, boom. So. The white dude that called my partner bitch earlier and some other fat Mexican dude had turned around. Now, they was the only two niggas that had turned around after we was throwing the clay out of But mind you, we deep. So I was like, okay, them niggas got some heart. Them got some heart. I ain't even gonna lie. I'm finna go like this. Back with it. Yeah, like I said, niggas is bold as fuck. Feel me? They turn back around. They like, who throwing that clay out of food? You know I'm making the fuck. No disrespect. But they're like, who's throwing that play at school? Feel me? Little shit like that. Bad Mexican dude walk up to me. So, I'm like, damn. Like, already, like, nigga, I got the lunch in my hand. You know the little white trays? And I got that little white tray in my hand with potato wedges and chicken sandwich. I'm like, how am I going to be possibly throwing clay at you and I got two hands occupied filled with food that your fat ass might want. That's probably why you walked up to me anyway. You feel me? Because, you know, I, I'm, the, I'm the nigga with the food. So, he start hollering at big boy shit. Like, don't be throwing no clay at me, fool. Woo -woo -woo -woo. I'm like, bitch ass nigga, I ain't throwing no clay at you, nigga. Straight up, nigga. You see me on the wall eating my lunch, nigga. Feel me? This is other little niggas right here, nigga. Talk to them, even though they're my partners. I just have to play the role. Like, you feel me? Like, we already wanted y'all to turn around and do hella little weird shit like this so we can beat y'all up anyway. But at the same time, we're not going to let that be known. We're just going to play our role, you feel me? But the whole time, we was intimidating. And that's why we, that's why my partner was throwing the clay. But I was already down. I was just like, I'm down with the fight. And I just ain't, I ain't going to do no little petty ass shit. If that's the case, we might as well just all walk up to their group. And they can get it popping. But, you know, niggas petty. This high school, so. I mean, the plan worked. But only two niggas turned around. So it was like, damn, we would have looked like some bullies jumping on two niggas. If the whole group would have turned around, then it probably wouldn't have been no talking. We would have just all met them in the middle and we would have just been swinging. I probably would have been the first nigga to throw the punch. You feel me? 
because that's the rollout plan. But since he walked into me, it felt like I should have already had took advantage. But at the end of the day, I had I had a reputation at the school. You feel me? Because of the YouTube and all because of the little and all the little other shit we was doing. So more story time today. I'll tell y'all then motherfucker next time. But hell yeah, so boom. I square up with the nigga and hella shit, you feel me? But I didn't fire on him because the only reason why I didn't, because I knew all my partners were jumping. All me and my savage niggas was doing, nigga, was no fair fight. Nigga, you fuck with one, you fuck with all. Nigga. I end up finding a white nigga after looking around the fucking school campus, me and my partner joker. End up finding a white nigga. The white nigga was with a Mexican nigga, a little Mexican nigga, you feel me? Now I'm with my partner joker. I didn't want the conversation to be long because that's not my enemy. So I told him like, hey, where your partner at? He like, I don't know. I don't think he can come to school today. So I was like, he's probably not lying because he don't want his ass beat, you feel me? But I already told him when I walked up, like, I ain't here to fight you. I want your partner where he at. So, you know, he told me a little bit about. But the Mexican nigga standing like, like Vegeta or something. Like, he finna transform. I'm like, bruh. I'm like, what's wrong with your partner? Like, why is he looking like that? Like, I already told him I'm not here to fight. So now it made it look now that it's looking so suspicious more people start walking up because it's like oh it's gonna get fight because how little bro was looking and how it was talking to him. You know what I mean? Now the white dude he had his backpack, but he was holding his backpack like this. So it was like like he tied his backpack up to like just hurry up and take flight if he had to and not take it off and get punched on. So he was trying to find the easy way out. But I didn't make no sudden move. You feel me? And that's why he was like he never let go of his backpack or he never did nothing suspicious of of the of, of how I was acting. So when his brother when his Mexican partner started turning up though. I'd start chipping like, wait, because I was just like, well, I'm not going to sit here and say I don't want to fight you. And he looking all like, well, nigga, we down. Feel me? And then we just walk off looking like some bitches. Like, hell no, nigga, I'm going to trip too. Like, nigga, my partner quiet. Yo, you feel me? You quiet. But this nigga looking hella turned like I am. So, nigga, I'm going to match the energy. Told the nigga straight up, like, nigga, you got to see me. Nigga, straight up. Nigga, yo, nigga, keep tripping, bro. Like, nigga, there's going to be a fight in this motherfucker. The nigga like, well, that's because you trying to start shit, nigga. I looked at that nigga like, what did you say? Nigga, I must have took off my backpack, nigga, and hit that nigga so fast. Nigga, I'm talking about, nigga, I hit that nigga like, I hit that nigga like this. Nigga, boom, bro, must have, mm, fell, ah, oh, slippers on right now. Like the slipper must have came off like, whoop. Nigga, I was like, oh shit, the backpack came off the nigga. I don't even know how the backpack came off the nigga. And he had it to just fight with the backpack tied on his back so it was light on it. How I did it was, I already had my backpack hanging, feel me? So I just let it drop and I just hit him on his ass cheeks and then his back. So it was like, he rolled like booty then back, you feel me? And then my mama, nigga, I must have got on top of him, nigga, and must have, ah, one. You know, the referee, you know how the referee get on the ground and they smack the ground and they go like, one. That's how I was doing it. Like, I was the referee guy on the ground hitting me. One, two. I couldn't even count to five, nigga. My partner had grabbed me. My partner Ivan had grabbed me. And how it was, especially from just what happened Friday, nigga. I just fought the, you know what I'm saying? I almost fought the Mexican nigga. For me now, it's they, they tripping on me, so I had to cut. Mind you, when I say the whole school coming from this way, like, nigga, I must have slapped the nigga like, pow, nigga, and the whole school heard it like, I'm talking about the teachers hurt that motherfucker. Like, nigga, the teacher was like, yes, two times 12. Kid, do you hear that? She was like, I don't know what that was. Damn, that sounded like somebody got slapped. Anyway, socked him or whatever I did, nigga, because that nigga hit the ground, nigga. I'm talking about, nigga, that nigga must have had an extra lump on his butt cheek because he hit his ass so hard. The, uh, bruh. Give me on shit, grab me on shit. So, nigga, I grabbed, nigga, they grabbed my shit because I already had took off. I'm talking about I'm in my new Air Maxes, so I'm kind of hot how they dirty after when I start running and I run to the whole front of the school. And I want to say there was nobody in the front of the school. Like, I was really by myself in the army. If niggas know what stag, stag look like, especially from 2016 and up, the y'all niggas know, nigga, I was chilling. Me and Joker Hop Campus, turns out the motherfucking hallway staff seemed to fight the whole time. And, you know, I was already a big name. So when I came back to school, I was trying to ditch six period, but the, but she had saw me because six six period class I was trying to ditch was right next to her hall, so she was already patrolling on the side area and she seen me. I got suspended five days, nigga. I missed the whole five days with the school plus the weekend. So boom, I come back on the Friday. 
come back on a Friday. Same day I come back from suspension. This is the craziest thing, bro. I'm talking about this is Friday. First day back. So it's already bad enough that but my first day back to school from suspension, I don't got school the next day because it's the weekend. So I was like, damn, I kind of do want something to happen. You feel me? Because then again, I know shit wasn't happening in the five days. I wasn't at school, so I kind of do want something to happen. But then again, I don't want to get in trouble. You know, I don't want to have them think I'm a part of it because I just got suspended. So, nigga, this nigga, I'm waiting at the school. I'm sitting at the little, I'm sitting in the back of the school. I'm sitting on the wall. This nigga looking for me. But he don't even look, he don't even see me. He don't even see me at all. But he looking for me, cause I can tell, cause he don't got no backpack on. He got the same jacket on that he bought me with five days ago. Nigga, sleeves rolled up. Nigga, then they got a haircut. Damn, that nigga was ready for me. Like that nigga must have trained all them five days, bro. Like I don't know what the fuck that nigga. That nigga had something. For me. He was finna shoot the school up, bro. When I said them white boys, bro, boy, that nigga look like he was finna. Oh, I can't find him. Bow, bow, bow. I'm looking for you. I'm like, I already know that, but I don't want to get suspended. So tell him to go to the levee. But as soon as I was like, fucking, I'ma just tell him myself. Just y'all come with me. Nigga, I must have turned around, nigga, the whole school right there like this. Nigga, them, bro, they right here like this. Whole school, bro. I'm talking about, nigga, I didn't even walk, like, from the wall. Take a minute by the time I got from the wall to the gate. When I walked in the gate, the whole school was behind me, bro, like this. Hey, it's because they be on the trip. So, bro, I hit the motherfucking boom, I hit the gate, I turned around, nigga, the whole school behind me, but it's not like I could've told them, like, back up, back up, it was like, fuck it, nigga, I can't tell them niggas what they already think was going on, like, I can't, he was already right there waiting, but he had one partner, he had another partner, like, bro, where are you getting all these friends from, like, you had this Mexican nigga with you, then you had the other fat Mexican nigga with you, and you got this other nigga with you that I didn't even get to really look at, like, where are you getting all these niggas from, like, he let you get in your ass beat, that'd be the craziest thing, like, so he hit, so, I'm like, bro, come to the levee. He didn't even hear me. This nigga squirreled with me. I was like, oh, this nigga. The nigga was like, when I hit the corner, the nigga squirreled with me. Like, I'm like, oh, as I was trying to tell him, come to the levee, he squirreled with me. So I'm looking like this, and he like, he must have thought I was saying, like, nigga, what's up? Bitch ass nigga, he wasn't just me. But I was kind of taking out my backpack a little bit. Like, hold on, why is he tripping? Oh, he swung. Oh, so I'm dodging it. Oh, uh, uh, he swung two times. So I swung two times too. Boom, boom. But he dropped. But he kind of hit me. I ain't gonna lie, he kind of like skimmy, but that because he was taller and longer. So when he got kind of close to me, or whatever the fuck he thought he learned, I was backed up and then came in with the two, boom. And he fell like, Ooh. But when I threw my third one, I missed. That's how I know he fell. But I looked at him when he fell like, God damn, I didn't point it at him like when he fell like, God damn, nigga, you fell like head. I was like, bro, really can't fight because it's like, or he really can't take a punch because I ain't gonna lie. The first time I socked him, yeah, I would expect the incredible hope to fall because I hit that nigga. I ain't even gonna lie. But the second time, the second one was just some reaction punches. That was just some counter, some little, uh, boom, boom. Well, let me get ready to get in there and get in your body and shit. But he fell off there. So I was kind of froze like, damn, nigga, I didn't even get to really fight. I didn't even get to square with you. None of that. I just threw the two punches. Boom, boom, man. You feel it? I got on him, start punching him. Nigga, must have grabbed him and we flipped. Nigga, I'm talking about we. Boom. Niggas like, ooh. So I was grabbing each other like this. And I had him like, like this. So I, like his head right here. You know what I'm saying? I was just trying to like, get my little punches in. But mind you, he's tall and shit. I, I'm short and shit. So, and I, I didn't know how to fight like how I do now. You feel me? Like, so. I learned, nigga, that I've been trying to, nigga, tap out, bitch. I've made them look stupid on camera. Like, tap out. The niggas would have been like, yeah, tap out. Ha, 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 tap. Like, nigga, it was, I didn't even want to fight him in that area. I wanted to see, I wanted to see him on the levee. I wanted to see what he really, I wanted to see what his hands was about. Because the first time I just socked him and he fell, I didn't really get to see what he was talking about. So the second time I was, you know, I wanted to, you know, I wanted fair. Because I didn't want people to disrespect him because he's white. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want people to make it a red one. I wanted people to show, like, okay, you better not no bitch, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Get him some clout, nigga, even if I was beating you up. And you was going to get some clout off me just because you fought me, nigga. And fought me twice, nigga. Shook your hand and been like, nigga, you did hitting that one good time, y'all. Nigga, you did punching that one good time. So it's like, nigga, I was trying to get that nigga some clout though. But, so he wanted, he got punched on, nigga. If you was really, but see, when he when he scored with me the second time, nobody didn't see who started it. You know, I came back from suspension. I got suspended again fighting this nigga, bro. And nigga, that's how much, that's how much we was nigga out there, bro. But nigga, I hope y'all like this video, my nigga, man. Subscribe, like, watch, comment, nigga, thumbs up, whatever the fuck you don't, nigga. Because if you fucking don't, your mom's a fucking hoe, man. You're a nigga. Fuck going on. Please don't tell these fans.